My name is Spliff, have you? I take it out, then I blick it. Bought another band, now I flipped it. Welcome to Culture and the Will I get this? Hey, niggas so like pussy, I can't get this. Hey, you been on the road, bitch, I get this. Hey, pop another titty. I'm from Brooklyn, Brooklyn, New York. Um, I'm 21. Facts. Damn, 21. Yeah, I was in my room, bro, in this room right here, exactly. And I was in high school about, I think I was in 10th grade. Yeah, I was in like 10th grade going into almost 11th. And I loved weed, bro. Like, I just got really addicted to smoking weed. Like I just love smoking. So and Wiz Khalifa, like I fucked with the name. Mm. So I've always wanted like a weed nickname. And then also Instagram. You ever like met somebody? And like they be like, you be like, yo, what's your Instagram? Well, girl too. Rihanna underscore fifty five underscore zero circle. What? What? Like I used to hate that shit, bro. Mm. Like the all those underscores, Perry's on the name. So I wanted a name. I wanted. My objective when I got home that day was smack. Was like, yo, I need a good Instagram name, like something where I could just like be direct, like no Perry's on the scroll, boom. And it has Straight to be to something. Point, it has to be. It has know? to be something weed related. Like if yeah, it's not catchy. weed related, duh. Yeah. My first Instagram was mad corny. I think it was like, like Henry Sin or some shit. You feel mm -hmm. me? I was like, fuck that weak shit. I'm like, I gotta get Henry. I'm like, I, I don't fuck with that name. I don't fuck with it. So I'm right there, yeah, I just wanted a weed name. I was like, I need a weed name. I was laying down, looking in the sun. And I thought to myself, like, um, I sometimes like, yo, I get happy. Or, like, what I do, like, I get happy. I love getting high, how happy. Some shit like that. I started, I think, yeah, it was like, I started mumbling shit, like, how happy, boom, boom, boom. I'm like, happy split. I'm right there, I stopped. I, when I said happy split, that's when, that's how I know this memory. Because mm -hmm. I stopped and I yeah. thought about it, I'm like, happy split. And I got stuck, and then I was like, Spliff happy. Yo, bro, when I said that, yeah. oh my, my dick dropped, bro. Mm -hmm. Cause I was like, yo, bro, yeah. if somebody has this name right now on their Instagram, bro, yeah. I'm a dev, I'm a wild out. Like, yeah. I'm gonna just be like, this is, bro, I typed mm -hmm. it in. Bro, nothing, bro. Nothing, bro, Facebook, nothing. I was like, yo, bro. Yeah. Who would've thought? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me, I got yeah. it. It's a so catchy I, yo, ass bro, name too. I was like, yo, bro, I'm gonna go to school. Like, yo, call me Spliff. <laughs> okay. Split on the block, yo. Mm -hmm. Split anytime I introduce, yo, from that day for bro, anyone who I introduce myself to, it, they be mm -hmm. like, Tom, split. It was really like an alter mm -hmm. ego, you feel me? Mm -hmm. It was like, like not knowingly, I dived into something that was like, yeah. like really expand, mm -hmm. expandable. You feel me? Like, I didn't know Split Happy would go that far. Yeah. You feel me? Like, to the point where, like, like I said, mm -hmm. I got people hitting me up, like, yo, like, Inspire me this at the third yeah. like um I'm in high school, uh twelfth grade, and I'm about to finish school and shit. Like halfway done, I'm my halfway mark. Someone that I knew at the moment needed help and I let that person stay in my house. Right? He graduated a year after me and I let that person you know, I linked up with him, you know, he had problems and shit. I didn't I didn't know this nigga like that. I did not know him like like we was not best friends, nothing like that. I just Wanted to help you yeah, because yeah. I had the opportunity to help someone. Mm -hmm. So me being the good person, I'm, I helped this person, bro. I let him stay, bro. I literally had to, no, no homo, bro. But like, I literally shared a bed with this nigga because yeah. like it was cold outside during the time. Mm -hmm. Like, someone used to yeah. live in the B. I like someone through mad shit, bro. Mm -hmm. I don't, you know what I mean? And you know, I just, I just toughed it out, bro. I didn't, I didn't care. You feel me? Like yeah. everybody you were knew. Trying to help. Yeah, I was just, I didn't give a fuck, bro. Like. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I let the nigga live with me for like almost a year, but like, put it like this, during that year, mm -hmm. this kid, like, he rapped every day, bro. Yeah. Like, he put me on to, like, hip hop, like, Joey Badass, like, he put me on to, to really listen to it. I knew, I knew it was always there, I always heard Joey Badass, but I never, like, mm -hmm. understood the lyrics. Yeah, you know, yeah. as I kept growing on, during 12th grade, I was going through mad shit, so like, all these things was happening in my life. And once I started re-listening to all that music, then, yeah. you know, feel me? Like, I started really relating to it. Mm -hmm. And then he was putting me onto more and more. So I started being in, in those in that, that area of music. Yeah. And I wasn't rapping no wavy shit. Like, hey, you feel me? Nah, I was just rapping straight, like, hip-hop shit. Yeah. You feel me? He would freestyle every day, bro. So I didn't, I didn't, I didn't freestyle because... Cause I didn't want to, but like eventually came to the point like, ah, fuck, I'm just jump in the field. Hey, mm, 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 mm. I started mm. freestyling with him. So like, yeah, I started, I started, started rapping like 12th grade, mm -hmm. and that whole process came out to be like 
some shit happened with that nigga. Like, it's not really good terms no more. But I started rapping, yeah. Like, seventh grade, I had my first blunt. Mm. And then I didn't hit it. After, I didn't hit a blunt after that until, like, ninth grade type shit. Yeah. And then after ninth grade, tenth grade came, I just started. Mm. My first time smoking wasn't great. It was just like, ew. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not gonna do this. Mm. I brushed my teeth with soap. Cause I was scared of my mom. Like I didn't have no yeah. Colgate. Yeah. It was like till mm. broke at that time. Yeah. So I brushed my teeth with soap. Mm. What about you? you know about these? <sighs> Can we show the cameras in there? So there's some Cheetos, Grojitos, um, Chura Mice, and I think Sabritas in here. Mm. They're all Chile and Lime. You can grab them, bro. This is fine. These right here, bro, are like, when you're high, bro, look, bro, look what it says up here, bro. It says, excessivo calorias. That means excessive calories, bro. This shit will get you fat, bro. I'm talking about easy, bro, because it's so good. You go through a whole bag of these, like, excessivo sodium. A lot. Um, it's funny because it wasn't intentionally, like, honestly, um, I was just, I had a, sh the setup was so shitty that it just created that shit behind it, right? And at first, like, when I started making, I didn't know how to fuck with the editing. I didn't know how to, how to like do, do uh, compressors and put reverb and all this shit. And I, I was lazy to learn this shit, honestly. I wasn't trying to do all that because I wasn't trying to be all that. I was just yeah. like, yeah. I'm, I'm You're just trying gonna, to have fun. Yeah, I'm just trying to hear myself yeah. rap some shitty mm -hmm. ass lyrics and then just be like, all right, cool. Mm -hmm. But then, like, I, I was fucking around with it, you feel me? I got smacked. I was, this is why I love weed. Mm. Bro, because, like, I smoke a blunt, and then I did this shit, and I was like, yo, I just started fucking around with shit. I started playing shit by ear, you feel me? One time, um, and it's funny. One time, this is how it started. Instead of doing double ups, like, people that, that know recording shit, like, y'all gonna understand it. But, like, when you do a double layer, instead of doing double ups, what I used to do, I used to copy the same vocals I just did and like lower the, the semitone by one. So it'd be like one regular voice and then one really deep dark voice, right? And like match those two together. And like oddly, it just worked, bro. Like if, like it just sounded good. Like I was like, okay. Fast forward though, like I'm gonna give credits. I'm not gonna hold you. This nigga snot, bro. <laughs> this nigga put me on to double ups. That's the person that like really pushed my style. Like. Halfway mark, like I said, like last year, like that's when I started really wilding on music. Cause mm -hmm. when he put me on to like doing the double ups and shit, that shit just made everything like just sound more different. But like I used to do two. Oh my god, bro, this shit is it's, it's kind of like hard to explain. But just know it was wavy, mm -hmm. and I I knew I knew it was wavy because I heard th the difference. Like yeah. doing those doubles, those triples, you feel me? So I always thank that nigga for putting me on to that shit, cause. You know, he ain't had to do that, you feel me? But he put yeah. me onto that show, I was like, I bet. And that's how I created my, my little style. Bro, coronavirus was probably the best thing that happened. I'm not gonna hold you. Mm. Like, real shit. Like, once I, like, I was working a job two days, right? Yeah. It was essential services because it was food delivery, yeah. like vegetables and shit. Mm. So, we work in two days. Coronavirus comes. Now out of nowhere, oh, five day specials. Yeah. And they was already paying 17. Yeah. And then they had to raise it because pandemic. Yeah. So I went to 18. And then, bro, oh, the amount of money I was making in a week. Yeah. And it was a bi-weekly check. Yeah. So think about that. Mm -hmm. Like, I didn't see my first week's check. Yeah. And I didn't see my second week's check until the third week. Yeah. Bro, I was stacking up so much money, bro. My daily routine became like, um, wake up. Literally, I would, it was it was tough. It was tough, bro. It was like I'm saying it like it sounds like nice and shit, mm. but like it was tough, bro. Yeah. Like I'm telling you, I was dead ass mm. brick. Like I'm talking about, bro. Like there was a little heater. And it just had to be like this, bro, because the vegetable was so cold, and we just trying to like heat yeah. our hands up, bro, because it's yeah. fucking cold. But yeah. like. Boom, I'm doing it. I'm breaking down boxes. There's a lot of warehouse shit. Bagging yeah. up food, put, putting shit in there, putting it on, closing it, and then, yo, crazy, bro. Tiring, cold as fuck. I toughed it out, bro. Every morning I woke up with the mindset like, you know what, you know what helps a lot? I'm gonna tell this. Is, this is dead ass, like the best thing you could do. If you hate your job, like, if you really wanna make your shit just a little bit better, bro, before you go to sleep, like, literally, one, get eight hours of sleep, 
And then two, prep your night. Like, grab your clothes, like, play some music. You feel, you feel me? That's what I like doing. Clean your room up. Fold your clothes. Put it on a nice little desk. Put a little water. Sign, sign, boom. You know, I'm like, think about that. Like, you feel me? Go to sleep, wake up, and just go straight to your clothes. You feel me? Go do what you gotta do. And then you got a better one. Instead of waking up, trying to find your shit, well, I'm going to put sock. That shit weak. I couldn't do that. That shit, I just, I couldn't. So to cut it short, woke up, got my shit on, had a good fucking little coffee in the morning, waited at the bus stop, had my little spliff rolled up the night before too. Bugging. Smoked out with the bu Wait for the bu bus. was free. Mm -hmm. Didn't spend no money on the yeah. bus. I only yeah. had to take one bus 30 minutes away. Boom. At work. I'm brick, but I'm doing it. Boom, eight, nine hours, bro. Mm. And, they, and then they start moving locations. Boom, still going to work. Still going. And then, boom, I start hitting the gym. I'm in the middle between that. Still going to the gym and shit. My man's I, I lit. Back on the gym shit. Everything looking Gucci. And then fucking... <sighs> yeah. Like, Shorties want to come back around for mm. what? Yeah. What? Mm. Oh, fuck! <laughs> Oh, I don't hate you. I just fucking. Oh. <laughs> it was just fucking crazy. But yeah. Basically, everything was lit. I was in the gym, my nigga. I was in the gym. I was this close, yeah. bro. Yeah. Like I'm talking about, yo, bro. Yeah. Like, like just wait me a one more month to just like. Yeah, mm, prime, prime, prime. Me, so just me, just one more month with me, and then I would have been cooling. But no. Yeah. You know, when everything was looking good, bro, yeah. always expect the unexpected. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. She told me to expect the unexpected. Yeah. She, I was like, what the fuck? <sighs> yeah, oh, if she sees this shit, bro, I got to say, I don't hate you. It's just, you know what about So basically, um, Zen linked me up with Josiah. At first, I was going to make a song with him. I had hit him up on some business shit. Um, like yo, like he was saying like yo, thirty dollar feature. So I was like, I right, fucking about to cop it. And then we were supposed to, I was supposed to send him this shit, but like, just fucking, nah, mm -hmm. it ended up happening. Yeah, feel me. And then like he comes to New York, and Zen hits me up like yo, I'm about to link Josiah, pull up, uh, uh, like fuck it. So I go pull up, mad weed on me, go to the city. We in the city. Um, I see the, we see I see the sign and shit. We all give each other pounds and shit. Like love is love. Feel me? Like ah, ah, mm. my name's Spliff. Ah, ah. Yeah. And he told me that fucking he fuck with my shit. Ah, this that the third. So it was a good vibe over it. Yeah. Like it was just chill. Like oh shit. Like I didn't even know he was gonna say some shit like that. Feel yeah. me? Yeah. Um, and we was just smoking, bro. We was just smoking, having a great time. I meet the nigga. Ah, ah. He tells me that he's in New York for like this meeting and shit. Uh, uh, so like in my head, I'm just trying to I'm trying to give the perspective like I'm a I'm re I'm re I'm very regular in my head. Like I don't look at myself as a superstar or like yeah. or, or like a, I'm, I'm lit. Uh, mm. so I'm, I look at myself. I'm just like a regular kid. So I'm looking at him like he's the lit person. You feel me? I'm just chill. Feel me? Like shit. I was like I'm a fan, nigga. So mm. if anything, I was just hype. And yeah, I just met him in the. From there, like, it wasn't nothing like, yo, like, we best friends or nothing. It was just, yeah. like, yo, I fuck with you, bro. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah. just genuine. Genuine it, respect. We showed each other our music and shit. He played mm -hmm. his shit, I played mine. He said, he fuck with my shit, I fuck with his shit. Yeah. You feel me? We got it tuned after that. You feel yeah. me? Just, we just kept contact. You feel mm -hmm. me? But like I said, it was not like, yeah, my best friend. Yeah, yeah. Like, yo, yeah. fuck with you, nigga. Just mm -hmm. know that. Fuck. We had the same, around the same birthday, my shit, October 16th. He a Libra. Mm. I was Libra too, so like, yeah. we was just like, yo, bro, mm. you feel me? Yeah. You feel me? But like, he brought me opportunities where like, I mm. experienced like happiness. Yeah, yeah. Genuine happiness, like, mm. damn, son. But one of those opportunities was the performance and shit mm. that I got to open up for him. Um, it was, it was, it was weird how I got to that because I went to one of his shows in New York. Yeah. And then, uh, I'm there, I'm chilling. I was with some badass bitch. Mm -hmm. She was bad. Yeah. She was not the other girl I was talking about. Mm -hmm. But she was like, yo, I think she know who I'm, she gonna know who I'm talking about. Yeah. It was a just out of NASCAR and okay. she was on stage. I got her on stage. She wasn't even supposed to be in the party. Mm -hmm. She was supposed to be in some other yeah. shit. But I brought her to that right. Like, some badass bitch, right? And then 
just um, decided that he performed and shit. You know, what I mean? he got us in. He mm. got me in. Uh, uh, um, and what was it? Oh yeah, he performs. It's lit. We we lit. Feel me? We was on the stage a little bit. I I come. Fast forward. Fast forward. Boom. Shit end. Right. I'm I'm about to leave. Like yeah. I told you, yo, bro. The shit, bro. I mm. see you, my nigga. I'm yeah. out. You feel me? Like love. Mm -hmm. I'm outside. I'm smoking a bogey. Um, and my man's come up to me. He's like, yo, 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 um, come through, come through real quick. I was outside. Tell me to come back inside. I'm like, what? I just, I'm just done. He's like, no, come, come. I go over there, and um, he tell me, I, I don't know. I think he called me to take a picture with, with Josiah or some shit. Like, have hope. So I took a picture with Josiah. Feel me? And then after that, he pounded me up. He was like, yo, bro, I ain't forget about you. He told me he wanted me to open up for him. His next show that he comes out with. Yeah. When he said that, I was just like, mm -hmm. "Where?" In front of like a couple people. Yeah. So right there, I'm like, "Yo, that's crazy, bro." I, I, yeah. yo, I'm with that. I'm with that. Now I start feeling crazy. Like, mm -hmm. boom. Fast forward a couple months, he posts his flyer. Yeah. Like Brooklyn, so he's gonna be in Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. And then I, I hit him up. I'm like, "Yo, you still want me to open for you?" Yeah. And he's like, "Hell yeah, yeah. nigga, the fuck, pull up, mm -hmm. uh." uh. Mm -hmm. I'm still thinking he capping like sun too lit, you feel me? I'm, I'm <laughs> like, yo, but there's no way this is gonna happen, you yeah. feel me? Mm -hmm. Sun lit, he signed, you feel me? He, he on the ex's manager, like, yeah. he's lit, nah, he not. Boom, like a couple days later, sent me the fly with my name on it. Yeah. And um, Zen too, shout out my son Zen, that's my nigga though. Um, he sends me the fly with, it, with his name on it and my shit, and I was just like, yo, like, yeah. he said the, the fucking. North American tour, Desire, Split, with Split mm -hmm. happening. And I'm like, when I seen that, I want to, I got to print that shit out and like hang it up here. Because that shit was fire. Um, and I seen that shit. Yo. <laughs> that day was incredible, bro. Like the best, bro. Mm -hmm. I couldn't, yo, I was, I was the most happiest of everything. But I performed a song. Yeah. Um, I want to focus, bro. I passed out, bro. During the I performance. passed out during the performance. Mm. I had people record. I brought the panda. My name's Slip Happy. We're going to get right to it, yo. Yo, oh, oh, okay, oh, yo shout out to the panda, too. You feel me? That's the first time I brought my baby out, bro. <laughs> this panda has really yeah. been through. He didn't seen it a lot, bro. This panda doesn't yeah, see me it, clap. It, Jeez, it definitely looked man, like it just stomped out, maybe. Bro, hell in yeah. the crowd. <laughs> bro, I was bugging. Niggas was not gonna steal my panda, bro. I kept asking for my shit back, bro. I was just trying to throw it in the for shit for yeah. fun, bro. That niggas was trying to kill my nigga. Nah. Not, <laughs> I, that's why I was like, I'm gonna buy other pandas yeah. and I'll throw those. Mm -hmm. I could do, but not. Yeah. This was the original. I passed out. I passed out. Um, niggas, I woke up. Niggas gave me liquor. Um, and it was beautiful. I, I looked up and I forgot that I was performing. I, Cause I, it's not like I passed out for like a whole two minutes. It was like one of like one unconscious type shit. Like I dropped and then my man was holding me. And then right there, as I was going up, like my body starts reacting and it wakes up. And then I'm like, I look up and I see mad people. And you I'm just, just get like back into it. And then niggas like, yo, split. And I'm like, huh? Liquor, I'm like, damn it, fuck, I didn't need this, I need water, like, yeah. I just drink it, and then I was like, and then I was mad pressured by the DJ, because I'm thinking, like, he wants other people to perform. Yeah. I said, the mic drops, so then right there, I just lean over, I grab the mic, I'm like, yo, give me one minute real quick, ah, ah, before I go. Yeah. I just screamed, I was like, chase your fucking dreams. Chase your fucking dreams, whatever makes you happy, chase that shit. Yeah. 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 To answer the question in, in broad, it is the music. Yeah. Like, I didn't do nothing. The music did. Yeah. It really gets people like, like jumping. I, yeah. Like, I didn't. I didn't do nothing, bro. I, may, I think also maybe my friend told me too. Like, my image when I come out and like, you just see like a little like Mexican kid like yeah. pulling up short, long hair, mm -hmm. and then. I start violent. Yeah. Like I'm like I don't I don't you know how some people like they make the song uh, uh, and then they perform it the same way. Yeah. I never did that. Like I perform my songs like I screamed in them shits, but like yeah. I was just lit in the mic. You feel me? Yeah. So maybe that's what it. Maybe it was just like the fact that I didn't. I wasn't scared. Yeah. Like, once I grabbed the mic, mm -hmm. 
Mm. I shouted into that shit. Yeah. Like I was loud. Like you know, mm. like what the fuck? And then you look, and then you see it's a like little Mexican kid. Mm. And then you hear yeah. the beat. Mm. And then you hear what I'm saying. Yeah. Maybe sometimes you don't, cause I'll mix this shit good. Yeah. <laughs> but you're just like, yo, it's either this beat out, you know, this nigga just what the fuck? I'm like, yo, and I'm just, huh, huh, two seconds later, pass out, huh. yeah. Wake up, uh, no. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I end it. And my songs are so yeah. short. Mm -hmm. And then I know it just ends. Yeah. You go right And then it was like, oh shit! Yeah. Because it's not it's not like I was there for like five minutes. Yeah, yeah. Nah, I was there. I was in and out. <laughs> Quickly, I was boom. Came in, swelling. Then I left like I was never there. I'm at the point where it's just like I made the sweaters and shit because I love the panda design. I love my panda. You know what I mean? This panda is what it ought to be. For me. Yeah. Did you draw that yourself? Nah. Or did you have someone help you out? Uh, one of my one of my supporters, my son Santos. It's like my brother now. Mm -hmm. I fuck with that nigga, but. He had drew this up one day and then yeah. he sent it to me and I was like, I oh, fuck with this shit heavy. Like that's the happy panda now. Yeah. I mean that's a little panda man right here. Mm -hmm. I don't want him to be so cute and gay sometimes, but it's like it's alright. Let's do this like the other version, you know? Yeah. The one in my head, like yeah. I'll be picturing him fucking niggas up. Yeah. Doing the grimy moves. But this will this will really be shooting right here. This will <laughs> really be pulling up, shooting. Yeah. And yeah, like I don't really gotta like a whole like, gun. Mm -hmm. Everything I do with this shit is never yeah. like I don't know. I don't know why I do this to myself. Mm -hmm. I don't go with no plan. Yeah, mm -hmm. it works out somehow because because I have faith. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I really believe that no matter what, no matter where where you at in life, as long as you love to do it. Yeah, and you do it every day. Yeah, and you think about it mm -hmm. all the time. I just don't see why it's not. It's like not it'll grow. Quick. It'll grow. Hey, like you'll fall mad times, like yeah. all the time. Like I know I'm gonna fall with this. Like this probably not gonna last long. Black like, hair, a little bit. Yeah. But it doesn't bother me to the point where I'm gonna stop doing it. Yeah. I'm gonna keep doing it. Like, You're still gonna give it a try. Yeah. I'm not yeah. gonna. I love. I love seeing myself like do my own. I got my own yeah. shit. I could that, bro. I got equipment to do this shit. Mm -hmm. I could do this myself. And I'm a. So for me, it's like. Yeah, so you're making these like in in house. In house two racks. Yeah. I'm not paying nobody to do this. I invested like a whole thousand two hundred dollars. Yeah. Okay. Just to just to have it. I still want Wi Fi. It's real. I wanna like I wanna do a song with I wanna do a song with um, I still wanna do a song with Snot. Like, mm -hmm. That shit didn't get to happen, bro. I was so mad, bro. Like I really wanted to make that, but it just didn't happen. Yeah. So if you watch this, yeah, still wanna make a song with you. Um I'm not gonna hold you. Niggas might hate me, bro. But I don't wanna make a song with six nine. But if the chance to arrive and like you wanna make a song, mm -hmm. I'll do it. I don't even care if I don't post it. I just that's the thing though. I, I, some people gonna look at it like, oh nah 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 mm -hmm. cloud shit, nah, I don't give a fuck. I just I want to hear that. I want to hear what that duo would sound like. Because yeah. I've always wanted to hear that. So why yeah. the fuck am I going to switch it up now? Oh, there's two more. All right, so boom. Home Shake, Mac DeMarco. And if Mac Miller was alive, I'll do a Mac. I'm an actual Mac Miller song. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I want to get that shit to a million by 2020. If it don't happen, it don't happen. But if it happens, bruh, I'm going to be hyped. Yeah, chase your fucking dreams. No cap. That's really all you that's really all you gotta know. Like, chase your dreams. And when I say that, just know it's gonna be hard. It's gonna be fun though. It's gonna be stressful. But it's worth it. Like I said, even if you don't make it to be what you really want it to be, it's better trying than not. Like, you don't wanna be that person that didn't try it. You're gonna be tight, mad dread. It's gonna suck for you, hard body. But if you try it, at least you try it. You know? So that's that's one good part about it. And stay optimistic. I don't care. That's another thing. I don't care. Like, bro, no cap. If my mom were to die tomorrow, I'm gonna feel that, bro. I'm gonna feel it. But after that, I gotta stay optimistic about everything. Like, I my mom died, but I'm still here. And she's still gonna be with me. You feel me? She's still gonna be protecting me. She's her energy is never gonna die with me. So. That's how I'm gonna get over it, you feel me? 
optimism breaks boundaries sometimes, bro. You can you can go far, bro. It doesn't mean you gotta be numb, bro. Like niggas say be numb, like I get it. Niggas push that emphasis a lot when X was alive and Lil Peep being numb, like popping pills, but all that shit, it does it's just nah, not it. You saw X X did that, but then you saw him got out of it. Like he had to put himself in the mental state where it's like he got sober. If he was smoke, he probably you know, he said he didn't smoke, but my thing like, you know, he probably smoked just cut down the smoking a lot, you know what I mean? Like, look a little peep, the whole numbness shit, the popping pills having fun, all that shit, it doesn't get you nowhere, but just that like So I look at it like, yo, smoke your weed, have your fun, just be safe and do what you wanna do. You don't gotta wild out. You don't got you can wild out whenever is a appropriate time, but you don't gotta be fucking bugging out every day like out drinking yourself and doing ah just chill. Breathe and chase your dream. That us. This been Swift Happy and big shout outs to the coach of interview, man. Real shit.